we're developing a society because of all of these different toxins known to affect brain function. We're seeing a society that not only has a lot more people of lower IQ, but a lot fewer people of higher IQ. In other words, a dumbing down, a chemical dumbing down of society. So everyone's sort of mediocre. That leaves them dependent on government because they can't excel. We have these people of lower IQ who are totally dependent. Then we have this mass of people who are going to believe anything they're told because they can't really think clearly. And very few people of very high IQ who have good cognitive function who can figure this all out. And that's what they want. So, you know, you can kind of piece it together as to why they are so insistent in spending so many hundreds of millions of dollars of propaganda money to dumb down society. What are the people like? Ah, the shape of things to come. It's lovely Yvette Mimieux. And what happens when boy meets girl thousands of years hence? How do they wear their hair? Who? The women of your time. Up like that? Show me. Is this the human race of the future? Or is this the Morlocks, fiendish creatures who live in a weird underground world? And the Eloi, the tranquil sunshine people, who the Morlocks dominate and maintain like cattle, luring them below with the hypnotic wail of the sirens to feed upon them in cannibalistic horror. Let's become more immediate, more urgent about it. We believe, anyway, that we live in democracy here in the United States. Do you believe that this brave new world that you talk about uh, could, let's say, in the next quarter century, the next century, could come here to our shores? I think it could. I mean, I, I, that's why I feel it's so extremely important here and now to start thinking about these problems, not to let ourselves be taken by surprise by the and new advances in technology. I mean, the, for example, in, in regard to the use of the, of the drugs, we know there's enough evidence now uh, for us to be able, on the basis of this evidence, and using a certain amount of creative imagination, to foresee the kind of uses which could be made in a, uh, by people of bad will with these things, uh, and to attempt to, to forestall this. And in the same way, I think, with these other methods of uh, propaganda, we can foresee and we can do a good deal to forestall. I mean, I'll forbid. specifically about the United States. You say this, writing about American political campaigns. You say, all that is needed is money and a candidate who can be coached to look sincere. Political principles and plans for specific action have come to lose most of their importance. The personality of the candidate, the way he is projected by the advertising experts, are the things that really... Obama is the most inspiring man. He told us all the judges are our civic duty to, to participate and make this one big global community. This man was born for this, and he was born to lead us, and I just feel so inspired. Someone to actually make a difference in my generation. I feel like I am living a dream. Yeah. I feel like I am... I don't get emotional. Um, I feel like I'm experiencing a level of inspiration. Not only does he hear us, he feels us. And that when I hear Barack Obama, they say, he talks to my soul. Their family members are dying because they're becoming infected with the disease. This company knew absolutely that they had a problem with the product. They knew that, that it was infected with AIDS. They dumped it because they wanted to turn this disaster into a profit. It's Mike, pretty Mike, I, I, I well, it doesn't matter if you pay $4 or $40 for your prescription if it doesn't work the way you think it should. Tonight, an alert about antidepressants. Some of them may not be as active as once thought. About its antidepressant drug Paxil. 
Glaxo has now agreed to make public all the results in all of its clinical trials involving all of its drugs. There are about 35 drugs approved for use in the country every year, and withholding data can be a huge problem. Congress is going to begin hearings the next month. The country's doctors is now calling for a comprehensive Children. government Here is a disturbing fact. Seven out of the last 12 results. students responsible for school shootings were either on antidepressants or were in withdrawal from them. Are these medications helping or hurting our kids? Seem to be inexplicable. But listen to this. More often than not, antidepressants are involved. In Colorado, for instance, police found antidepressants in suspects Dwayne Morrison's Jeep. We still don't know if the Amish school gunman Roberts was taking anything, but we do know the I'm FDA Thompson. recently warned... I'm the director of the Health Sciences Institute. This morning, I want to talk to you about an urgent threat to your daughter's health. It's not a syphilis vaccine, but it may as well be. The danger I want to talk to you about today is the so-called surgical about the cancer vaccine. There are a lot of people, a lot of Americans, very concerned about the impact of this drug, which is found in vaccines, and how it causes autism. Talk it's about a, it's that. A, thimerosal is a preservative that was put in vaccines back in the 1930s. Almost immediately after it was put in, autism cases began to appear. Autism had never been known before. It was unknown to science. Then the vaccines were increased in 1989. We went up from receiving about 10 vaccines in our generation to these kids received 24 vaccines. And they all had this thimerosal. My name is Vivian Howard. I'm the professor of bioimaging here at the University of Ulster in Coleraine. And I'm a medical pathologist and toxicologist and my research over the past 20 or 30 years has involved looking at the effect of toxic substances on development in the fetus and the infant. This is generally recognized as an area of or period of life when you're especially vulnerable to certain effects. I guess the thing that got me interested in fluoride in the first place was the very, very low levels that you find. This morning, and it is a crazy headline story. A lot of folks concerned about this one. Denver is among 24 major metropolitan areas where prescription drugs have been found in the drinking water. According to an Associated Press study, antibiotics, mood stabilizers, sex hormones, and over-the-counter pain medications are just some of the pharmaceuticals found in the drinking water of at least 41 million Americans. Here in Denver, unspecified well, antibiotics turned up in the, the water. This uh, is the report here. Basically what it shows is that either a lot of purposeful shenanigans was carried on to get this product approved, or, as he states it, it was the world's worst research. They found that um, what they did is the animals that died after being fed NutraSweet, they didn't autopsy the animals right away. We're developing a society because of all of these different toxins known to affect brain function. We're seeing a society that not only has a lot more people of lower IQ, but a lot fewer people of higher IQ. In other words, a dumbing down, a chemical dumbing down of society. So everyone's sort of mediocre. That leaves them dependent on government because they can't excel. We have these people of lower IQ who are totally dependent. Then we have this mass of people who are gonna believe anything they're told because they can't really think clearly. And very few people of very high IQ who have good cognitive function who can figure this all out. And that's what they want. So, you know, you can kind of piece it together as to why they are so insistent in spending so many hundreds of millions of dollars of propaganda money to dumb down society.